Well, growing support tonight for a young teacher from Yuba City, now diagnosed with leukemia. And she grew up legally blind. Mm. Here's your reporter in Sutter County, Kayla Moore. 25-year-old Miranda Smith was born legally blind. Her struggles in school made her want to drop out. Also, it was just hard with my peers and just being different, things like that. It was a stressful environment, stressful time for me. But two teachers along the way advocated for her and made her feel seen and loved. Taught me that, you know, I could be more than my situation. There was more out there for my life than just letting all those horrible things drag me down. And that was the first time in my life where I was like, wow, I might be able to be something. They ended up changing her life and inspiring her career in teaching. And I decided from that point on that I was going to do well in school. I was going to graduate. I was going to be a teacher because if I could impact one student's life the way that they did mine, that was my goal. That would be enough for me. Some of her students and stuff like that, she's already made an impact on their lives. So much so that a former student already had plans to hang out with Miss Smith. We crashed their frozen yogurt outing, and I asked the fourth grader what made their relationship so special. Sweet and kind, and she's nice to everyone. She created a safe space for all of us to talk to her. Storm loves hanging out with Miss Smith, and my wife needs it too. She needs days where she can feel as normal as she can. Miranda is now too sick to teach. In February, I was officially diagnosed with leukemia, acute myeloid like leukemia. And that's when everything kind of changed. She's been feeling symptoms for more than a year and says although it is cancer, it feels like a relief to finally have a diagnosis. She says she feels supported every day by community members and complete strangers. On the days that I'm waking up feeling the sickest and just the most discouraged and just overwhelmed, I know that there are people out there striving and praying and hoping for the best for me and that means the absolute world, you know. Miranda says the hardest part of all of this is not being able to teach and see the kids faces when they have that aha moment when they finally understand something. She says for now she's just going to be taking life one day at a time.